I'm about going to the basement and facing your fears against the furnace. I'm about shooting dudes in the dick with pellet guns, okay? I'm about eating ice cream sundaes and watching rubbish. I'm about Buzz's girlfriend being woof. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Hi, welcome to Hot Ones, a show with hot questions and even hotter wings. I'm your host, Black Hoodie, and today our guest is Black Hoodie. Yo, what, 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 what up world, what's good with y'all? Back with another one today, a holiday hot one extravaganza special. I've got 10 sauces in front of me, hot sauces I should say, and they're all local. I also have two types of wings that I prepared that I'll talk about, and then I have some just delicious dippers in case these get a little either too hot or they're just not really my flavor profile i've got some just standard go-to delicious areas but we will get through all 10 hot sauces if i could just get these out of the way though this might be more effective so as you can tell this is going to be semi hard to navigate and i'm a little bit concerned about how i'm going to go about this but i have 24 questions here that I'm going to try and get through all pertaining to Christmas, Christmas questions. I figured it was fitting for the day that it is today, Christmas. And on that note, I just want to say a sincere Merry Christmas to everybody watching. I hope you have a great time with your family, friends, make good memories, hopefully get something cool that you can actually use. Because when I get stuff for Christmas, I always want it to be like useful or have utility. So either money being ideal or for me like cooking stuff nowadays because i'm getting to be an old cooking guy so there's that but just things i can use i just i hate when i get stuff that's like hey i might just leave that laying on a table or at least give it away to somebody if i don't want to use it you know what i mean so i uh i have that predicament with christmas sometimes so it's just like is it useful or not i don't know but minimalism i guess this is who i am okay so <laughs> Let's get into this, and I want to try to work from what sounds like the least spicy to the most spicy. So uh, these guys I know are quite hot on the side here. So these three off to the side are local heartbeat hot sauce, hailing from my community. A little free promotion for them, but this actually has made it on to the show hot ones. So that was actually in the lineup at some point. I don't know which one, but uh, I think it was just their standard red habanero. So we have that. I also have a pineapple habanero right here and then the blueberry habanero. So trending theme is habanero is like their base pepper. Uh, this seven pack that I got the other day that looked like little travelers, little drinking travelers is called Mary Sharps also local i was in the grocery store the other day and there was a gentleman giving out samples and we had a moment i felt connected with him i said i'll spend some money to help your business and the sauces were good when i tried them actually as well so i got a little holiday sauce pack and i got these wings and i got these questions but before we do anything more we must pour so we will show our breach we have our NW. And we go. I'm very, as per usual, excited for this video. For many reasons, of course. One of which being, I love wings. You guys know this about me. I love wings. Secondly, I love sauces. You guys know I love sauces. What's better than trying 10? Actually, I have 12. So I love wings and sauces. So we're, we're, we're batting a thousand at this point. And the third reason is for the first time I tried my hand at tempura or like fish and chip style battered wings. I've never tried it myself with wings. I've always done either these ones or the oven baked or whatever, what have you. And, uh, Today, we're going in with what these are right here. And you can see just by looking at them, they're very light, fluffy, almost like sharp and jagged looking in terms of the crisp. Maybe get another example on these big guys for you. See those like sharp, crisp edges? So it's like a tempura type batter. 
which is like a Chinese style wing. Like I feel like Chinese places offer these type of wings. So this other style that you'll see is just a cornstarch coated, which is also a favorite of mine. I like to just do cornstarch and fry. Comes out nice and crispy, nice and light. Very, very delicious. Okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm very, very sorry, but I felt like I had to establish all that before we start moving here. So let's go into these sauces. This one is a grapefruit habanero. And I feel as if that's kind of, if it's fruity, it's probably one of the least hot. So we crack open, give it a smell. Smells, smells very nice, very fruity and hot. So I brought these parchment paper sheets because I don't want to contaminate the other wings and mess up uh, the flavor profiles on all the other wings. So I brought just these sheets that I can just quickly roll them in, get a good amount of flavoring on it, and then give it a try. So here we go. First, tempura fried grapefruit habanero wing. Listen to that crisp. Mm. How clean that falls off the bone. Nice citrus. Good heat, not too, too hot, but I can tell I, I'm going to get lit up in this video for sure. <clears throat> okay. Okay. The first question on this holiday question list is what's the best or worst Christmas present you've ever received? So that's a hard question because obviously there's a few in the best category and I'll have to go over those. So because Home Alone was such a smash hit and it was definitely a favorite uh, movie in my household growing up, for sure, around the holiday season and otherwise, he had the talk boy in it, I think in the second one in New York. And I got a talk boy. And I wanted it so bad. That's all I could have got for Christmas. And I would have been happy. And I got it. And I was very happy. That was very short-lived happiness when I brought it to school. I accidentally left it on my desk when the bell rang. Went back. And it was gone forever, never to be seen again. Holy shit, this is very hot. Oh my god, this is like a barbecue. I thought that wasn't going to be that hot. It is lighting me up. I need to get another rag just for my face. I have one for my fingers. I'm going to get one for my face. All right. Rag for my face. Rag for my hands on the right. A sip for my mouth here because I'm dying. And we just started. I think I just hit one that I wasn't supposed to go that early on. Okay. So another great present that I got. This one is a garlic pepper sauce. Another amazing present that I got was my first real snowboard. I loved that Christmas. I loved that gift. It was amazing. Oh, wow. That was so liquidy. Mm. Mm hmm. I like that sauce. That's just delicious. You really get the garlic in it. Mm -hmm. that's awesome that's really good 
snowboard. <clears throat> and then another memorable one was a Sega Genesis. I loved getting that Sega too. That Sega was so fun. I played just so much Sonic. Just constantly playing Sonic. Now, conversely, the worst gift, and this is what I can think of. It was a good gift. It just, what happened with the gift was, this was like a few years back, living in Toronto. My dad would just wire me money, right? Uh, a few hundred bucks. And I was actually very much in need of the money at this point. To, to, to pay bills and stuff and my credit card was was run up deep but i wasn't worried about my credit card at this point i was just like i need that money to to pay bills and stuff and he accidentally transferred it somehow to my credit card account So that money just got ate up by my pre-existing debt, which I no longer, no longer have, by the way. That's definitely one good thing I can say about my life for sure is that I'm debt free. I don't have any debt and I'm okay with that for sure. Now there's good debt and bad debt, but I just have no debt. Man, that second sauce crushed me. This one's pretty mild and average. Just tastes like a hot sauce. All right, let's move on to another question. Describe a Christmas present you wanted badly as a kid, but never received. Once again, I feel like every Christmas was all about getting a system gaming system and there was many years where i'd ask for like a dreamcast or something like that and i just wouldn't i wouldn't get it so like a playstation or dreamcast like those christmases when you think you're getting like a new system and you don't get your system you're like you're bummed big time okay what's this one beware it's called it doesn't say anything spe special about it it just says beware and that it's a hot sauce so let's get into that Name something about Christmas that most people like, but you hate or at least dislike. Um, I don't know if most people like this about Christmas, but I'm just really not fond of wrapping gifts. It's just kind of like, I'm not great at it. And uh, even though I am like meticulous and on point with stuff, I've just never really become good at wrapping gifts. And uh I'm pretty like I like to just shove it in the bag with the with the you know that stuff the like mesh paper or whatever just kind of do the easy take the easy route on the wrapping I know some people that take like great pride in their wrapping skills and like really go that extra uh, mile to make it look beautiful and pretty and everything but for me wrapping just not my forte Mm, I like the taste of that one. I can tell it's going to be a slow creeper. But it's good. Kind of citrusy as well. Okay. If you're going to have only one Christmas candy this year, what would you choose? Christmas candy, it's hard to even think of what a Christmas candy is because I'm so used to Christmas baking, like sweets. Because my sister bakes like a ma. And actually I suggested her for us to sit down here and do a platter of her desserts, her Christmas baking that she makes because there's tons of it right now in the freezer. And sit down and she can like explain her processes and just explain each, each piece of baking. So if you guys would want to see that, we can 
get that going. Oh my God, I'm dying. I'm sorry for any loud stuff in this video, but it's hard to control my emotions and my nose and everything when I feel like this. Not good at hot sauce. So uh, Christmas candy, the one thing that stands out for me really actually is um, I used to love these blue raspberry or whatever, like blue candy canes. I love the blue candy canes. And then also uh, Toblerone bars. I don't know if you've ever had a Toblerone bar, but Toblerone bars are bomb.com and they're very, very, very Christmas for me. I used to always get them in my stocking. So definitely like a Toblerone bar or a blue uh, candy cane. <clears throat> what holiday movie or special do you watch over and over again? So as you can probably already guess, I kind of hinted towards it back there with my talk boy answer but for me it's home alone all the way and it's always been that for our family mm, the other one I can think of in my family is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase It's Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve right now, actually. And that's what my sisters are drinking and watching upstairs right now as we speak. I would love to know your guys' holiday film down below. Please tell me because I'm just always intrigued to see whose is what as I do like that question a lot. Also, I'm just going to take this moment in the video to, to just claim that if I went on Hot Ones, I would absolutely not do well. I would die. So this one's called Belizean Heat. It's the last one in that seven. And then I'm going to move into the locals. And I'm not doing well. Like, I'm really... My mouth is... Ay, ay, ay. The wings are still very enjoyable, though. So, uh, next question. What's the weirdest slash ugliest Christmas decoration you've ever owned? That's actually a funny question that's on this list because... I, I guess at one point, and I still do really love pickles, but as a, I guess as a kid, I was just like really obsessing over pickles one year and my stepmom and my dad got me a pickle ornament, ornament just of a pickle. But it was like an ugly pickle. It was an ugly ornament. And every year, since then, when you dig out the decorations, they're like, oh, here's your ugly pickle. And with pride, I hang out my ugly pickle as it has sentimental memory value. Chat me. Oh, I'm going to be so Santa Claus, ho, 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 Kris Kringle in this. I know it. But what else? <clears throat> what was Christmas like when you were growing up? That's a loaded ass question for me because I come from a very complex, complicated family. Um, Divorce, but really complicated divorce, really complicated mom, mom, really complicated family relations. So what Christmas was like for me, oh my God, was a lot of being pulled in many directions. This is the blueberry, by the way. Maybe give you a close up of that because that looks pretty cool. Just a dark hot sauce. You rarely see that. And uh, Christmas was very much going to a lot of different places, doing the rounds, having like 
four to six different Christmases to have to attend. Um, and a lot of grown adults kind of acting childish in the sense of like being like, oh, like who gets more time with who and like when do we get you, what day, who gets you on like actual Christmas because sometimes you go somewhere a day late. Like it was just a lot of like tug of war for uh, for me. And then also um, <clears throat> my mom has suffered with like mental health issues her whole life and for people who have certain disorders bipolar schizophrenia for my mom um certain seasons can be can be triggers or holidays can be triggers so my mom would usually get triggered around christmas for whatever reason it just was a bad time for her so i'd always me and my sisters would always kind of have our We'd always be ready for the worst, basically. With some pineapple. Mmm, sweet relief. But yeah, me and my sisters... Basically... Had to be ready... To, like, handle my mom, basically. Because... If she went off the rails, it was completely up to us to deal with her. There was no other adult that would that would step in and help, really, because she, my mom, has like outlawed and and but like just basically shunned everybody out, other than us, her kids. So we would always have to like deal with her if she went off the off the chain and by deal with her i mean like sometimes police sometimes um getting her to the hospital so she can get uh basically like sedated so some actually dark memories around christmas but i still like christmas but it's just it is always a weird time <clears throat> who is the toughest person you have to buy for this christmas well i'm at the age where like I don't know. You don't, I don't buy for a ton of people. It's just like few people close to me. But when it comes to like somebody hard to buy for, I just always consider my dad difficult because he's the dude that just has everything he needs in life. So you always try to get something like meaningful or funny or like an inside joke. So, you know, you just have to do a lot of thinking with him. Because he has all his tools and mechanical stuff that he likes. My dad's very mechanical. Loves wrenching on engines and stuff like that. But he's got everything he needs for it. So it's like, it's just, it's hard to, to shop for him. All right, now that I'm out of the hot sauce hell, I can just switch to barbecue, and this is orange ginger sauce, and I'm looking forward to just having a normal flavored wing. This is orange ginger. Okay, I'm on the slow recovery. I got the orange ginger. One more, the next question is, what is one thing that you are most great for, grateful for this holiday season? Easy to answer. All my subscribers and all the people coming here, helping me, supporting me in becoming what I want to be. And really, that, all that is is just successful and something that I love doing. So that's what I'm most grateful for. You guys, you're the gift that keeps on giving. No word of a lie. Also, 
on that same note, winning the knives from Sam the Cooking Guy, and the fact that I'm sure that you you guys going to his wall, kind of spamming him out, helped with bringing attention to me. So another big thank you. And also, on a side note, what I thought was really cool about Sam is that he subscribed to me on YouTube. So, you know, you don't always expect someone who's massive to subscribe to a small guy, but he subscribed to my channel. So that's cool. I, I have a subscription from Sam, the cooking guy now too. So grateful for all that. Truly, truly, truly. Share one vivid Christmas memory, good or bad. Well, I think I kind of touched on the whole bad side of things uh, regarding like my mom and stuff. So we don't really want to get into that probably. But uh, as far as like a good but kind of bad memory in a sense, and it's, it's the most vivid one I have from Christmas is that mm, I'm waiting for you is uh, I wanted a Sega. I got a Sega, but I'm the, I was the type of little dude who would stay up all night, be so anxious and excited. I would bother my mom and dad and my sisters because I was the youngest. And I'd stay up all night trying to scope out and bust Santa. And, um, my parents used to make us wait at the top of the stairs till they were ready to come out of their room and go downstairs. And my sister was ahead of me, like in the conga line of excited Christmas kids to get downstairs. And she ran down and for whatever reason, I don't know why it wasn't wrapped, but the Sega was sitting out unwrapped. Probably my parents got too drunk and tired and just decided, fuck it, we're going to bed. <laughs> He'll appreciate it regardless. <laughs> and uh, before I could get down and see it, my sister just yelled out, you got a Sega. And um, I was super happy to get a Sega. But I was so bummed because it was like, I wanted to see it, you know? I was like five, but I just remember having that memory of like, God damn it. Like, I wanted to see it first. Like, I wanted to see my amazing gift. I didn't want to hear it from you, you know? So, definitely my Sega moment was for sure that moment. If you could travel anywhere for Christmas, where would you go? Uh, because I was raised in Canada in a snowy ass climate, I'm very used to and expect Christmas to have snow. I couldn't even imagine what Christmas in a hot climate would be like. And to be frank, I don't want to know. So that said, I'd either be in New York or Chicago to pay homage to and because they're both dope ass cities uh, home alone because that's where the first one is in Chicago and then the second one's in New York so and they're snowy places and I'm about a snowy Christmas so it has to be one of those two
what's the most memorable thing that's happened to you since last Christmas? Oh, pfft. I think we already went over this. Got crazy sick for three months. Mm. Had a bit of a cancer scare. Um, during that time, went broke and then got evicted from my apartment and had really no options and found myself homeless. <laughs> so yeah, that's, there that is. That's definitely a, a shitty highlight. Or what do they say? Memorable? What's the most memorable thing? Yeah, that's the most memorable. What's your least favorite item on your Christmas to-do list? I already touched on it. Basically just wrapping present. I don't mind the shopping. I just kind of hate wrapping. Would you rather have three feet of snow for Christmas or no snow at all? Basically already answered that. Three feet, for sure. The more the merrier. And, uh... Where I'm at, where I've grown up, everything. Three feet is pretty standard. <laughs> and if you're sitting there right now thinking, is he going to eat all those wings? I think so. If someone offered you a gift card to any store you wanted, which one would you choose? Hmm. That's difficult, but I'm going to life hack it a bit and say, is Amazon a store? Just because I can get anything I want off Amazon. If I'm being like smart about it. Yeah, definitely like hit up a a fatty Amazon gift card. Doesn't say how much, but I would hope it's a lot. What's your favorite holiday and what's your least favorite holiday my most favorite holiday is you guys probably know this about me but Halloween I just love Halloween my least favorite holiday is actually it's about to happen New Year's I hate New Year's always just overrated it's never that fun when you go out it's just too busy everywhere <clears throat> it's like hard to get a cab a lot of the times or hard to get home it's just so much competition because everybody's out for New Year's partying but it makes no sense because you just wake up with a hangover on the New Year mmm And yeah, I just, I've always gone by my new year starts on my birthday. So when I turn a new year old, that's when I start going hard in the paint on like my promises to myself about my life, you know? 
all the commitments I'm going to make and changes and all these things and things I'm going to work on for myself. I just do that usually around my birthday. Which if we're talking about that too, if for holidays, if birthday is considered a holiday, I don't really care about my birthday that much. I don't make a big deal about it. So, like I'm stoked to have a birthday, but I just don't go like Kim Kardashian on it, you know what I mean? I don't oogle myself to the public. Gaga goo goo, come f make me feel amazing. You know? What's your favorite character from a Christmas themed movie, book, or TV special? Can we just say Kevin from Home Alone? Like, I, I just, it has to be him. Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Home Alone, a Home Alone obsessed. Like, you know what I mean? I don't really. I'm not about the Grinch, or I'm not about Rudolph. I'm about going to the basement and facing your fears against the furnace. I'm about shooting dudes in the dick with pellet guns. Okay. I'm about eating ice cream sundaes and watching rubbish. I'm about Buzz's girlfriend being woof. So. <clears throat> I gotta go with Kev. Kev's my guy. And he loves plain cheese pizza and macaroni and cheese. Some of my favorite foods. Okay. Me and Kevin, soul, spirit, animals. Okay. We're really, we're really getting down to it here. Three wings. And we're going into another question. What's the best gift you've ever given someone? My presence. My presence is a present. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know. I couldn't tell you. Probably like a finger painting to my mom when I was four. You know what I mean? Like, those are always the ones, like the, the parents being like, oh my God, when you were four, or well, you weren't even in school at four, what do you know? Okay, when you were seven, you'd made me this Christmas drawing. And I'll cherish it forever. Those are usually the ones. If you were Santa Claus, what type of cookie would you want to be left out for you on Christmas Eve? Straight up, I'm a chocolate chipper, but like, like a Subway chocolate chip, like a very flexing and tender you bend it and you can almost get it to like a U without it snapping just a chewy flexy choco chip it's classic it's amazing for a reason choco chip describe a funny Christmas card you have given or received honestly I have no I don't remember any of them and due to my hate, I hate clutter. I don't hang on to anything like that. It gets read. I appreciate it. And then it gets thrown out. Sorry. It's just how it is. I'm not going to be the type of person that carries around Christmas clutter for the rest of my life. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> I need a concise space for my mind to operate correctly in this life. Okay, these wings are too much. So I've eaten way too many. Um, and we'll, we'll end it with this. What is the true meaning of Christmas? We all know that it's about the food, okay? It's about the dinner. It's about the turkey. It's about the stuffing. It's about the gravy. It's about the smorgasbord. It's about all of that. And then with that comes family time. So first and foremost, the food. Kidding. 
It is really about family. We all know this. It's about hanging out with your peeps and enjoying company. And hanging out with people that you don't see that often and then remembering, oh yeah, I I actually like them more than I thought. <laughs> and then the turkey. And then the mashed potatoes. And then the gravy. And then the ham. And then the bonus from work. But I don't get one of those because I'm an entrepreneur now. And I have to grind for my bonuses. So I guess I got a bonus from Sam the cooking guy this year. So thank you, Sam, again. Okay. That concludes the Hot Ones holiday special. I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. You know what to do. Have a Merry Christmas. Eat good, live well, and stay true.